Also on this somber day, law enforcement officers and first responders hurt or killed on the line of duty recognized in our state capitol this day. KDK State Capitol reporter Wes Rappaport was there for the very emotional ceremony and now joins us live from Austin. Wes. Hi, Neil. Yeah, the state of Texas honoring first responders who were hurt on the job and uh, paying tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice protecting uh, our communities here in the Lone Star State. Governor Abbott saying the state is in mourning and also saying thank you. The sound of bagpipes filled the Capitol Rotunda Wednesday, while applause and tears filled the House chamber as first responders were honored for line of duty actions. You never know when tragedy may strike. You never know what unexpected event could occur that puts your life on the line, that puts the lives of others on the line. That is what makes you genuine heroes. Governor Greg Abbott recognized people from local, state, and federal agencies with the Star of Texas Award. Arlington Police Corporal Alex Quintanilla was one of the 50 honored Wednesday. He was shot in January in a shootout with a suspect after a traffic stop. It was going fairly normal until uh, it all happens in a blink of an eye, you know, a fraction of a second. Quintanilla is sharing his story for the first time. Body camera video shows him fall to the ground. He was hit in the hip. That scene is ingrained in my brain right now uh, of him looking over his right shoulder and just seeing the flash of the, of the fire of the gunshot. He's been reassigned while he still has more recovering to do. This is the first time I'm in uniform since that night and it was amazing. The award was created in 2003 and is bestowed on Texas First Responders Day, which coincides with the anniversary of the terror attacks on September 11th, 2001. We need people in the state of Texas who are willing to step up and go into that unknown moment. And Governor Abbott also referenced what he called heroism shown by our first responders, by our firefighters and our law enforcement in the aftermath of the deadly shootings, the mass shootings in El Paso and in Odessa last month. Reporting live at the state capitol in Austin, I'm Wes Rappaport, KETK News. Wes, thank you.